Hello, Sagittarius. Oh yeah, that totally got like pushed up some more. Or you stop following my hand camera. Yeah. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Look what I got. You know what these are? These are these. What are those? Well, these are the Starman Tarot by David De Angelis. I think his name is pronounced. He it was inspired by the artworks he created for David Bowie. He worked on two albums of his with him. And he had these tarot cards in mind since he was a child, he says. And they are really awesome cards. And I'm excited to keep using them for a while because they definitely capture my imagination. I'm also using the Shadowscape deck to um, clarify. And it gives it a nice vibe all together. I really like how they vibe together, really. Is that my husband? No. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and do your reading, Sagittarius, from mid-January to February of this current year, right? Right. Okay. No whammies. We got for you two cups, seven of wands, ten of cups reversed, princess of cups. There's a lot of fucking cups, I have to say. Judgment reversed. Ew. Four of cups beginning theme is the Ace of Swords. Some truth of a matter or even a new idea of some sorts coming in to be a catalyst for all of this. Either a change of a new idea or like a stroke of genius. Or maybe just the truth in general or something you didn't think of, but yeah. I mean, this is only a single. This isn't a Thunderdome reading. I won't do that until, like, for the January one. So be patient, my minions. <laughs> but yeah, like... Huh. This is, like, really dynamic, but this suits you guys. I figured, like, Sagittarius would go really well with these cards. And a lot of energy with these cards. They're very, very motivated to move around, I have to say. But yeah, Ace of Swords is definitely, like, information, a new perspective. Definitely a new perspective and shit, right? Hey, baby. Nice. My husband just came home. Like he does. Ah! And I dropped a bunch of cards. That's nice. Recording. Yeah. <sighs> and having a hard time, like, I'm bending over anymore. This cocksucker motherfucker. I'm sure they appreciate that. I can't pause it, though. Just make it short, but yeah, well, that's going to make it really hard because that causes my computer to break down because it only uses, like, a minimum of, like, edits at a time. But it's cool. I'm sure people don't mind. Okay. Let's see. So you have the Two of Cups, right? And it's, like, the symbol of the guy who used to be known as Prince in the background. Yeah, no, it's really colorful when it comes together. I guess you joining together with somebody or just... I mean, I don't know. I don't get it's like a romantic vibe. Like, it could be. But it is not. My cards won't come out. Even though they came out like a minute ago. Oh. There's one. Eight of Swords. Oh, that poor duck. Or swan, or whatever it is. Um, It's a hybrid. We'll call it a swap. Fair enough. It is... 
It feels like it's trapped, even though it's not. All it's do is like shake itself and then get out of it. But, like, like somebody feels stuck with themselves where they can't move or feel like they can move past this or whatever. Maybe it was a relationship with some sort. I just don't feel like it is, though. Um, or maybe it's just a connection. Maybe they feel stuck on a connection. That could be it, too. Then we got a Princess of Cups, right? Who is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type. Who is, like, really immature and probably being extra dramatic. Because they're all in their feelings from, like, the past or whatever. Or even it could be you right now. Where someone's just, like, wanting to go back to when they were childlike and just... Act out, I guess. I have the Seven of Wands up here. Yeah. Which is like trying to be on top of your enemies. Um, trying to win a battle. Like, that's what you want to do. And just end things. Bring things to an end. Like, you don't want to wait on anything anymore, right? Right. Oh, I almost forgot to write down Scorpios. Shit, now I don't remember. Uh, I'll look back on there in a few. It doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> like, someone wants to stop waiting and just adventure out. Like they don't want to wait on somebody anymore. Even though that's what they've been wanting to do. But they want to be on top of it. They want to be victorious in this and just, just, I'm done with this. Even though they've been stuck. Even though they've been feeling, like, really bratty about it, I feel like. Like, someone's acting very bratty out of wanting to be, like, a child and taken care of. Almost, I think. Like, or, or someone's giving them the benefit of the, of the doubt because this deals with the past. And, like, usually people look at the Six of Cups fondly of the past. Possibly even missing it, right? Well, here we have, like, the final judgment, and the dude does not look like he's resurrecting anything as much as his head is causing things to be on fire in the shape of a... deer or calf or, or something with, that has antlers. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah, but, it, like, this is what's going against you, and it's like... Bad judgment call or something it just did not pass the test. And something didn't end right. Something was incorrect with its ending. The world reversed, right? Like, she's still moving on. She's just, like, got a few, um... It just doesn't feel like this should be the end to her. But it's like, that's possibly not even the right thinking. That might be the wrong idea about how this L ended. But there is a moving away from it. And there is someone just wanting to be done and over with it. Because they're tired of being stuck on this. Right? They don't care. Like, this is dealing with someone from the past, for sure. But someone is very much tired of being hung up on some sort of relationship. Ten of Cups reversed, right? Dissatisfied of either what you're afraid of or what you're rejecting. Which could be the Nine of Wands reversed, like... I feel like you're not happy with keeping the guard or, like, trying to refrain yourself from action. Because the nine usually deals with, um, having your guard up. And sometimes for me it's, like, going full out, like, insane paranoia with it. Thinking everyone's out to get you and you just, like, guard too hard. But this, for me, it's like, I think you're just, someone's just ready to leap because they're not happy with the situation. Like, 
keeping this guard has gotten boring and dull and has brought no real sense of accomplishment whatsoever. Like, I feel like someone would rather bolt. Like, they might let their guard down just to bolt, though. Just to be like, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> you know? Then we have the Four of Cups reversed, where it's like, someone is definitely stuck in their head. Like they have been. And there's a lot of regrets behind it, too. And it's become a burden with them. Ten of Wands. Like they're holding up this entire world by themselves. That's the uh, Catalyst and Finale, right? And the ending theme is going to be... I actually got two cards. Let me shuffle that again because I don't want to use either of them. What shall the ending be? Oh. Magician. Whatever possible new idea or new whatever, whatever it is you manifest, like it's going to come true. That is it. Hello, sir. Hello, kids. So it's like... Mm, you think it, you make it. Or you broke it, you bought it. That kind of thing, you know? Oh, oh no. Let's see what your three dice cards are. Then we'll be done, Sagittarius. Okay? Okay. We have not a pentacles reverse. Nobody is offering anything and he's just not moving, period. He isn't even looking at it. He's just got his back turned to it. It's like, nope. I'm done thinking about... Like, what if this is a negative person and someone's just stuck on them because they still love them? Like, that could be possible, too, since, like, this is a fond memory. Even though they seem like... I don't know, they're a crybaby or something? Like, too childish for, like, actual conversation. Um... Somebody's having a really hard time with all this indecisiveness. Oh, kitten. She's so... She's a good little helper. She is. I love her. She's just following you all over. <laughs> Alright, what's the final advice card, Sagittarius? Ooh, there we go. We have... Eight of Wands! And I feel like you're moving on from all of this... From... Feeling... I feel like, like, not only dissatisfied, just uninterested. Like, your little, like, fox horse, which I kind of want. Like, it's got really cute armor. Oh my god. Oh, it's got a curled tail. That's adorable. Anyway, yeah, I feel like you're done with keeping your guard up and you just want to move on from it. Because this is nothing but a burden. Huh? Fox horse, that's a force. It's a force? My husband says fox horse is a force, so... This shall now be done, the force. So you want to move forward with the force. <laughs> then you also want to move in from this burden that's just driving you mad. Like, you just want to get away from it. You just want to go. Which I kind of agree with. Like, don't even offer anything. Don't decide on nothing. Just leave. <laughs> It'll probably be easier that way. If someone wants you, they'll come find you. Maybe. I guess it all depends on the reason. But that's yours, Sagittarius. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.